Live from Moscow, this is RT. I'm Rory Suchet. In celebration of its uh, 10th anniversary, the Pirate Bay is once again sticking it to the copyright enforcers. Uh, the flagship Pirate website has released a modified browser intended to circumvent government censorship. Let's get some more perspective on the quite extraordinary voyage now. Uh, Fabio Reinhardt, a member of the Pirate Group of the Berlin Parliament. Good to see you today, sir. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Uh, from the onset, uh, the Pirate Bay has been fairly hostile and unyielding to both state and copyright holders alike. Uh, has that been a curse, do you think, or perhaps a blessing in disguise, possibly? Hi, Rory. Thanks for having me. Um, I just want to say uh, the Pirate Bay was something that evolved from the think tank, uh, the Pirate Office, uh, 10 years ago. And uh, those guys weren't in for pleasing everybody uh, on the left and on the right. Uh, they weren't in for the most profit, so they didn't have to, to um, uh, collaborate with everybody, they didn't have to please everybody. And of course, uh, they were a little bit rude to some people. Um, most of all, of course, to the copyright industry. And of course, some right holders may, may also have been um, uh, a little bit um, feeling, uh, feeling rude uh, handled. Uh, sometimes, but uh, in the essence, it was just a, a project of some people that said uh, we can we can make real the decentralized sharing of culture and of information uh, all over the world. Um, it was something that uh, tried to implement the ideas that had been around for several years now, and uh, in this way, of course. They um, they made the copyright industry the enemy. That was the idea of the whole. Well, project. I mean, so, certainly. And I mean, as, as, you, as you're saying there, Fabio, the, the root of the pirate bay's woes are indeed that of the copyright enforcers. But you know, those I suppose benefiting from the culture of surveillance on the internet. But I, I suppose to play devil's advocate here, can, can something as important as the internet uh, be left without oversight? Well, um, of course, there has, to, there has to be some oversight, but um, uh, the idea uh, to reform the way that information and uh, knowledge and culture is distributed among the world um, was something that had to, be, uh, had to be asked, that had to be implemented. And uh, you, you have to see that uh, in 1999 was the first time that Napster tried to bring uh, file sharing uh, to the internet, and uh, it took some some decades after that the, that uh, it was uh, people were able to buy music or to buy movies on the internet, and there was a whole industry sleeping, and there were some guys from Sweden that said, let's try to wake up the dogs, that try to uh, show them how it's going to work, and they actually um, did quite a good job on this. All right, Fabio, let's bring in the issue of the NSA's uh, spying program. Germany, in particular, has been rather upset with the NSA's surveillance all coming to light with Edward Snowden's revelations and the leaks, of course. Uh, we're seeing constant anti-surveillance protests uh, where you are. Do, do, do you think, truthfully, anything's going to come with the protests? Well, we have to see, but uh, in the German citizens are quite aware of the problem and more than in some other countries. Uh, we had the... Um, uh, we have the history of several uh, dictatorships in Germany that try to put a, a complete surveillance uh, over the population. So we are quite aware how this situation can lead. And um, I would say uh, the Power Party is trying to give people the information of how to protect their data, uh, trying to give people the information of how to encrypt the emails, how to communicate privately. Uh, what can uh, come of the situation. And I'd say that it already makes quite a difference, but people have to be more aware of the situation as they are right now. And um, I would say we have to see uh, the federal elections in September, and there maybe some people will decide that this uh, matter will make a change in the way they give well, the we've so, the Well, we've certainly seen uh, Angela Merkel uh, cozying up to Barack Obama after, after saying she was outraged with the spying surveillance, although we've now learned they were all in bed together uh, over the NSA program. But Fabio Reinhardt, I wish I had more time, I don't. Uh, Mr. Reinhardt from the Pirate Group of the Berlin Parliament, thank you very much for joining us here on RT today.